There's a, there's a host of things that are very near future. We had some, some great discussions uh, from, uh, from JSB this morning about the speed and the rate of change and how the rate of change of technology just gets faster and faster and faster. And um, because of that, that some of the changes that are coming are going to happen a lot faster than I think we expect them to. So even things like, um, we had a, a very brief discussion this morning about artificial intelligence and the role that artificial intelligence is going to have in um, analysis of images and uh, I think ultimately in cataloging even some of the core functionality of a library um, some of the machine learning that's coming very near future three years five years has the capacity to do quite a bit of, uh, of disruption in that uh, when you combine that sort of um, that sort of intelligence with uh, the Internet of Things, Internet everywhere, all of all objects being connected and networked and um, wearable technologies that report things to cloud-based services. And um, we're going to be swimming in these seas of data that these artificial intelligences are going to be able to crunch and, and answer questions um, in, in a far uh, different way and perhaps better. It's kind of remains to be seen if it's better than the sort of ways that libraries help people answer questions now. Uh, it's certainly going to be different. And um, I think the, the combination of all of those things, voice interfaces, the things like uh, Siri and uh, Cortana and then the, the Amazon Echo where uh, you have natural language interfaces to these very powerful cloud systems. I think these are going to surprise libraries if we're not paying attention to them. I think we're going to get uh, going to get surprised by them in the same way that we were surprised by mobile and uh, by the internet at large. Honestly, uh, that we just didn't react fast enough to it. I think those are going to be really important over the next five years.